Hello and welcome to Quest Recapped. Today, we will be going through the 2017 animated adventure comedy film, Ferdinand. The movie takes place in Spain, where we see a bull training ranch called Casa del Toro. Several young calves are watching to see which of the older bulls will be chosen to face a matador. However, a special calf named Ferdinand is different since he is not interested in fighting and believes in kindness and peace. He spends most of his time taking care of flowers, hence he is frequently mocked by other calves, mostly by Valiente, and his friends Guapo and Bones. Later, a truck arrives at the farm to take the victorious bull to the big field. Ferdinand then asks the calves what that truck is for, and Valiente responds that the strongest bull will be sent to Spain in this truck and will confront the matador in a large arena, which is basically every bull's dream. Afterward, the matador arrives to select a powerful bull to fight with him. He eventually chooses Ferdinand's father, who is the farm's strongest bull. The rest of the bulls who did not pass the competition are upset, particularly Valiente's father. Before his father leaves, Ferdinand approaches him and asks what is wrong with him because he does not want to fight like others. However, his father assures him by telling him that when he grows up, he will be the biggest and strongest bull the arena has ever seen. Ferdinand then bids his father goodbye and begins heading back to the stable, but halfway there, he notices Valiente smashing his flower out of spite. Next, Ferdinand spends several days waiting for his father to return as a champion, but to no avail. One evening, he sees the truck that took his father has returned, but his father isn't in it, and Ferdinand thinks something must have happened to his father. Valiente's father says that he died because he was a weak bull, and that only strong bulls can survive in this world. Devastated by this news, Ferdinand decides to leave this place and runs out the door as the employees follow him. He then dashes across the tracks and jumps onto a moving train carriage. Later, after he gets off the train, he walks aimlessly until he hears a dog's voice, causing him to be terrified and slip into a ravine. Fortunately, he is discovered by a florist named Juan and his dog Paco, who take him to their home. The following morning, Ferdinand finds himself on a new farm, where Juan's daughter, Nina comes to visit him. He is first scared of Nina, but when she shows him flowers, he eventually feels safer with her and builds a bond. She then takes Ferdinand to a beautiful flower field, and he is fascinated by the place. He then spends his days playing with Nina and helping Juan with chores on the farm. Years pass, and Ferdinand eventually grows into a massive bull, yet he retains his peaceful, flower-loving personality. Paco is like a brother to him, but the dog refuses to admit it, although his tail wags whenever Ferdinand calls him a brother. One morning, Ferdinand wakes up excited since it is the day of the huge flower festival. But, to his dismay, Juan informs Nina that they cannot take Ferdinand to the festival because he has grown so large. Nina refuses to attend the event without Ferdinand, but she is eventually convinced by Juan, who suggests they take Paco instead. And after the family leaves, Ferdinand goes to the top of a hill and contemplates whether he should stay home or disobey the orders. After a little brainstorming, he eventually decides to go to the flower festival on his own and sets off. When Ferdinand arrives in town, the people are alarmed to see such a huge bull roaming around. Moments later, he spots Nina and begins walking toward her, but suddenly, he is bitten by a bee. This causes him to yell in pain, causing the others to believe he is attacking. Just then, a baby becomes entangled in his horn, and despite his efforts to protect the child, people believe he is a terrible beast, who is trying to eat the child. As a result, the animal control crew arrives to apprehend him, but Paco helps him in evading capture by distracting them. He then walks into a glassware store and disguises himself as a display. Unfortunately, he sneezes soon afterward, causing chaos in the store and drawing the attention of authorities. He ultimately gets captured by authorities, and Nina tries to persuade the officers to let him go, but they ignore her. Sometime later, Ferdinand is returned to Casa del Toro, where he tries to rebel but accidentally pushes the farm owner, Moreno. To calm him down, Moreno summons a female common goat named Lupe. Lupe introduces herself and tries to calm Ferdinand down, but her constant chatting agitates him further. Suddenly, the two jump from the truck, and Lupe is taken aback by Ferdinand's size, as she has never seen such a large bull before. She then examines him and decides to train him for arena fighting. Afterward, 
Lupe decides to introduce him to the other bulls on the farm, but everyone recognizes him. Guapo and Bones are impressed by Ferdinand's size, but Valiente tries to intimidate him in the same way they did when they were kids. Ferdinand also meets two new bulls, Angus, who can't see past the hair in his eyes, and the quiet but fierce Machina, who is said to have been created in a lab. Lupe then leads Ferdinand to the barn, where they decide to sleep for the night. But, sometime later, three hedgehogs sneak into the place and try to steal their stuff. However, Lupe quickly awakens and begins scolding them. On the other hand, Ferdinand warms up to them and allows them to take the fruit while also lifting them up so they may go out easily. Later, Ferdinand decides to return home no matter what, so he exits the stable and walks to the fence. However, when he tries to pass the obstacle, he is electrocuted by touching the electric fence. When three horses on the other side see this, they laugh at him and threaten to shout and signal the humans if he breaches the fence. The following morning, Lupe awakens to discover that a great bullfighter named El Primero has arrived at Casa del Toro to select the biggest and most ferocious bull to fight against before retiring. She hurries to the barn and wakes up all the bulls to tell them the news. Valiente, on the other hand, is convinced that he will be chosen once he has defeated the others. Immediately, the bulls begin to train, and Lupe gives Ferdinand a few tips to draw El Primero's attention. A while later, El Primero arrives to watch the competition and the men open the gate to let the bulls out. But Ferdinand refuses to enter the arena, and since he is in front of the others, he ends up blocking the path. All the bulls there start fighting with each other except Ferdinand who is busy avoiding them. Guapo becomes too nervous Angus can't see, and Bones is too little. Seeing this, El Primero shuts down the bullfight and declares that these animals are not good for the event. He then threatens that if he does not get the champion bull, he will destroy Casa del Toro's reputation throughout the country. Afterward, all the bulls blame Ferdinand for embarrassing them all, but amid their quarrel, they hear Guapo shouting outside. They then come out to check what's going on, and Guapo is ecstatic at being chosen by El Primero. However, the other bulls realize that this is not the winner's truck, and he is being led to the slaughterhouse. The following morning, the bulls continue to train, except Ferdinand who is still disturbed thinking about Guapo. Therefore, Lupe approaches him and tries to encourage him to train, but while she is speaking, Ferdinand notices that a bunny is in front of the barrel that Angus intends to attack. So, he rushes forward and pulls Angus before he reaches the bunny. However, seeing such a large bull approaching him, the rabbit passes out, so Ferdinand does CPR on him and wakes him up. Realizing that Angus's vision is obstructed, Ferdinand helps him see by licking his hair up, and Angus is excited that he can now see around him. Since bulls do not usually help each other, Lupe advises Ferdinand to focus on his training instead of helping his competition. However, Ferdinand does not want to fight, so Lupe advises him to think of the bullfight as a dance. Hearing this, the trio of horses mocks the bulls, claiming they are incapable to dance. So, to prove them wrong, Ferdinand approaches the fence and begins the supreme tap dance. Seeing this, the horses mock his moves and respond with a team dance. After that, Bones and Angus join Ferdinand and dance against the horses while the hedgehogs play music. Knowing they are losing, the horses begin fighting among themselves until they come into contact with the fence and are electrocuted. After that, the bulls celebrate their triumph, but Valiente approaches them and warns them to practice since bulls who do not fight will be slaughtered. Hearing this, Ferdinand invites Lupe to run away from the farm and go to Nina's place. Lupe initially refuses, but after Ferdinand persuades her, she agrees to leave with him. They then ask the hedgehogs for help by gifting them a toy flower pot. That night, Ferdinand begins to follow the directions of the hedgehogs who tells him to enter Marino's house, through which they can escape. However, while walking through the house, Ferdinand comes across a wall with a picture of his father and his horns mounted on it. In fact, the entire wall is covered in bull horns that were sent to fight. Ferdinand then realizes that bulls are doomed to die in the arena or in the slaughterhouse no matter what. Therefore, Ferdinand returns to the barn and informs the other bulls that even if they are picked to fight, they will all be killed ultimately and urges them to escape. Valiente, on the other hand, is skeptical and confronts Ferdinand outside in the arena. Ferdinand refuses to fight him, but Valiente won't listen and begins forcing him up. 
So, Ferdinand eventually fights him and knocks off his right horn, much to the surprise of the other animals. Meanwhile, El Primero observes the brawl from a distance and selects Ferdinand to compete against him in the event. After this, Valiente gets taken to the slaughterhouse, but Ferdinand is determined to escape with his friends. Later, the hedgehogs lure three horses inside the stable and lock them from the outside, keeping them from alerting humans. Meanwhile, Ferdinand goes to the slaughterhouse to rescue Valiente, but when he finds him, Valiente refuses to leave. Suddenly, Ferdinand is startled to hear Guapo's voice and discovers that Guapo is still alive but entangled in a rope. While attempting to flee, the two activate a mechanism that nearly kills them. Fortunately, Valiente, who has a change of heart, comes to their rescue and saves them. Following that, the three encounter several obstacles on their way out but eventually manage to escape. At the farm, Ferdinand gathers his friends and they all get in the truck to get away from there. Meanwhile, Moreno and other employees rush out to catch them. The animals try desperately to avoid humans and end up at Madrid's train station, which Ferdinand sees as his ticket back to Nina. However, when the bulls attempt to catch the train by pushing a tiny railroad cart, Ferdinand sacrifices himself so that the other bulls can escape, and he and Lupe are eventually captured by Moreno. Following that, news of Ferdinand being brought to fight El Primero spreads throughout Spain. When Juan and Paco see it on TV, Juan rushes to get Nina so that they can save Ferdinand. The following day is the day of the big event and Lupe tries to persuade Ferdinand that he must fight in order to survive. But Ferdinand is still hesitant to do so. A large audience soon arrives at the arena to watch the fight. Ferdinand is then dragged into the ring and poked by the workers in order for him to fight. He doesn't put up much of a fight, but he manages to knock El Primero into the wall in self-defense. Enraged by this, El Primero tries to strike him with banderillas, cutting Ferdinand's shoulder. Ferdinand then grabs him by the horns and stares into his eyes, but he soon backs down after seeing a rose that has fallen on the field. Now, as Primero pulls his sword to finish Ferdinand, the audience begins to shout for him, urging him to spare the bull. Primero eventually spares Ferdinand and departs with his dignity intact. Just then, Nina rushes into the field to hug Ferdinand and the other bulls join her. In the final scene, Ferdinand arrives home with Nina, Juan, and Paco. They are joined by the other bulls, hedgehogs, Bunny, and Lupe, who have all moved into the farm. The movie then concludes with Ferdinand and his friends watching the sunset from a field of flowers. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and share this video. If you also have thoughts you intend to share, kindly leave them in the comment section. See you in the next video.